Oh yeah. You know Graham? Yeah. You'd never guess what he did. What? You know one of those um, family-sized mayo jars? Yeah. Yeah, he just decided to eat the whole thing <laughs> for no <laughs> reason. That's so great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was amazing. Oh, no. He did throw it up, though, immediately. Ah, no. <laughs> it was oh. disgusting. It was like the opposite of the, you know, the Gaviscon advert. <laughs> yeah. That in reverse. Oh, oh God. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> the worst part about it, though, what? the dog was literally just, like, completely innocently asleep next to him. <laughs> yeah. Completely covered the dog. No. <laughs> Poor Benny. Yeah, it looked like some sort of canine ice bun. <laughs> <laughs> It was amazing. No. Oh, um, no. In all seriousness, I wanted to kind of um, address something. Wow. Uh, I wanted to apologise to you sort of for the past few videos, really. I think with the whole new YouTube channel, kind yeah. of got off on the wrong Honestly. foot a little bit. Yeah, no, all fine. Don't worry. So I just I wanted to say I'm sorry for yeah. you know, the violence. <laughs> I'm not going to call the police. I am you after all. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. 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 Don't worry. Could have been bad. All fine. Both of us, really. Yeah. All fine. Um, don't worry about it. But yeah. All fine. Okay. All right. Cool. Cheers to that. I'm just going to get another one. Okay. Oh. What the trousers? Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro. I'm just gonna quickly show you how to achieve this effect. So for those that don't know, it's, uh, it's from a film called Lights Out. Um, so the concept behind this film is there's a creature that kind of only appears in the dark. So if you turn a light on in that room, the creature disappears. But if there's a tiny bit of light sort of creeping into a room, you can kind of see a silhouette of it. It's actually really creepy. So uh, I wanted to try and sort of recreate that. So it's actually really simple the way I've done it. So you'll need a fixed camera angle and a fixed focus. There's one shot of me in the shadows. So the way I, I wanted the scene to kind of be lit was um, almost darkness. So almost complete darkness, but with some sort of light source behind me. Um, which would then create this uh, silhouette kind of effect. So the kitchen, obviously the light's completely off, but I opened the door just a little bit and turned on the downstairs toilet light. So that allowed a little light to travel into the room and create this sort of silhouette. So I kept the lighting conditions the same as well. That's really important. So don't start trying to light things halfway through differently or anything like that, because it'll just mess up the effect. So keep everything consistent, the focus, the camera angle, and the lighting. Because you'll thank yourself later for that. Um, annoyingly, what happened with my camera, halfway through it, it turned off or went to sleep. So the manual focus kind of changed because it's an electronic um, focus on the lens I was using. So not sure how, I definitely didn't touch it, but I think because you turn the camera off and back on again, it kind of resets the focus. So that was quite annoying, but it didn't change too much. It just, uh, you'll see what I mean. So there's two different shots here. There's one shot of me stood in the shadows. It's just a sort of 10, 15 second clip of me just stood still. Um, and then the other clip is me outside the room looking in. So the idea is you want to try and get the two versions of yourself. Obviously you could do this with two different people. It doesn't have to be another version of yourself. This is just the, the way that I did it. You want to be able to have a clear gap between you and the other version of yourself. This just makes it a lot easier. You don't have to start sort of masking around yourself. So you've got the shot of me outside the room 
and a shot of me inside the room. So obviously the lighting situation was a bit different here because I obviously turned the light on and off for the effect, but there you go. So these are the two main clips that we're gonna use. So this one here is underneath and this one here, there's sort of multiple instances of that clip sort of repeated basically. So on this clip above, which is the version of me in the shadows, uh, you just need to create a mask. It just sort of cuts out and allows you to see this version of me underneath. So annoyingly, because my focus changed, you can actually see a difference in focus here. So if I move this over, you can actually see where the focus changed, which is quite annoying. So I just kept it as, as little as possible. So most of it was in the dark, as you can see here, which um, made it a lot easier to hide the difference in focus. But in a way it kind of worked because now both versions of myself are sort of in focus. And then all you do is just place that shot to begin and end as you turn the light off and then back on again. Oh. So that's how it's done, very simple. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did find it enjoyable or helpful, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and also hit the like button. If you have any thoughts on the video or any suggestions for other videos, then don't forget to leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.